So 32 is greater than 25. Is it true? Yes, the condition is true. Now this is in a form of a plus b whole square expansion. That is a square plus b square plus 2ab. We have to prove that n is equal to k is true for 7 power k minus 3 power k. Consider 4 into 3 power k plus 7p is equal to 4m. Hello everyone, welcome back my dear students. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First Street College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed some problems on mathematical induction. So today, I will explain very important question paper problems on mathematical induction. So first problem, prove by mathematical induction that 2 power n is greater than n square. This type of question you can expect for 7 marks. For all integers, n is greater than or equal to 4. Prove by mathematical induction or MI. We have mathematical statement that is 2 power n greater than n square. For all integers, n is greater than or equal to 4. So what is the first step? First we have to find the base case or basis. So basic case, here you have to prove that n equals 1. So yes of n such that 2 power n is greater than n square. So now I will prove instead of giving 1 because here they have mentioned integers n is greater than or equal to 4. That means, so here I will give n is equal to 5. Why it is 5? The smallest possible value which is higher than 4. The smallest possible value which is higher than 4 means that is 5, right? The smallest possible value which is higher than 4 means you can give 5. So, n is equal to 5. So the now, substitute the value of n. 2 power 5 is greater than 5 power 2. So, 2 power 5 means just 32 is greater than 5 power 2 is 25. So, 32 is greater than 25. Is it true? Yes, the condition is true. So, the result is true for n equals 5. So, n is true. And the next step is yes of k. So, suppose n is equal to k, then 2 power k is greater than k square. Clear? So, 2 power k is greater than k square is true. So, 2 power k is greater than k square for some k equals 4. n is greater than or equal to 4. And the next step is n is equal to k plus 1. We have to prove that n is equal to k plus 1. So, 2 power k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1 whole square. So, here this is the equation number 1. So, I have replaced n by k. 2 power k is greater than k square and we have to prove that n is equal to k plus 1. So, 2 power k means k plus 1 and here in place of k I have written k plus 1 whole square. So, now I will take the LHS. So, 2 power k plus 1 is equal to I can write 2 into 2 power k. How it is 2 into 2 power k? So, if you are adding the powers 2 power 1 into 2 power k, you will get 2 power k plus 1. If you add the base value is same, if you are adding the power values, you will get 2 power k plus 1. So, in place of 2 power k plus 1, I can return it is 2 into 2 power k. So, now I will take the LHS value. So, in place of 2 power k, I can return k square by equation number 1. So, as it is, I will write 2 into 2 power k means I can write it is k square. 2 into k square. Why it is k square? By equation number 1. So, by equation number 1, 2 power k is greater than k square. So, in place of 2 power k, I have written k square. So, now 2k square means I can write it is k square plus k square. So, what is k square plus k square? It is 2k square. So, in place of 2k square, I have split this k square plus k square. So, now k square plus k square 
in place of 2 into k square, I have written k square plus k square. So now again I will split this k square means I can return it as k into k. Is it right? k square means I can write it is k into k is equal to k square. So now again k means I can write it is 4, right? k is greater than or equal to 4. So in place of k, I will write k and into k. k square plus k means just 4. So 4 into k. So k square plus 4k. 4k means again I will split this 2k plus 2k. In place of 2k, I can return it as 1 because 2k is greater than 1, right? 2k is greater than 1 means in place of 2k, I can return it as 1. 2k plus 1. Now, this is in a form of a plus b whole square expansion. That is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, now k square plus 2k plus 1. That is k plus 1 whole square. So, k plus 1 is true. The result is true for, result is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So, this is your solution. Again, I will repeat this type of question you can expect for 7 marks. So, here you have one mathematical statement 2 power n is greater than n square for all integers n is greater than or equal to 4. Here s of n, first you have to prove this in base case, you have to prove that n is true. So here we have 2 power n is greater than n square. So now I will substitute the value instead of giving n is equal to 1. Instead of giving n is equal to 1, I will write the value of n because they have mentioned n is greater than or equal to 4. If you are giving n is equal to 4, n is equal to 4, what you will get? 2 power 4 is greater than 4 power 2. So, is it true? 2 power 4 means it is 16. 16 is greater than 16. Is it true? No, it is not a true statement. So, for that I have given the smallest value which is greater than 4 is 5. So, I have taken n is equal to 5. So, 2 power 5 is greater than 5 square. Substitute the value of n here and 32 is greater than 25. So, n is true. And the next step, we have to prove that by inductive step. So, n is equal to k. So, in n is equal to k, s of n is equal to 2 power k greater than k square. So, in place of n, I have substituted k. So, 2 power k is greater than k square. So, this is the equation number 1. And again, we have to prove that n is equal to k plus 1. So, n is equal to k plus 1 means replace this k by k plus 1, replace this k by k plus 1. Now you have to simplify this. So your answer will be k plus 1 whole square. So now how to simplify this? So 2 power k plus 1. So I will take the LHS. So just split this 2 power k plus 1. So 2 into 2 power k means you will get 2 power k plus 1. If you are adding the exponential value, again you will get 2 power k plus 1. So I can split this 2 into 2 power k. And 2 into 2 power k. So, here in equation number 1, 2 power k means I can write it is k square. So, I have written in place of 2 power k, I have written k square by equation number 1. And k square means, 2k square means you can write k square plus k square is equal to 2k square. So, you can split this 2k square as k square plus k square. And in the next step, this k square plus k square, again you can split this. k square means k into k is equal to k square, right? So, in place of k square, you can split this k into k. So, k square plus, I have written in place of k, I have written 4 because n is greater than or equal to 4. So, I have substituted the value of k here. So, 4 into k. So, 4 into k means you can write 2k plus 2k is equal to 4k. So, again you can split this. 
So now again you can't simplify this. So in place of 2k, I'll put 1 because 2k is greater than 1, right? So 2k is greater than 1. So in place of 2k, I have written 1. So now this is in a form of a plus b whole square formula. So now you can substitute the value of a and value of b that is k plus 1 whole square. So n is true for k plus 1 also. So this is your solution. So this type of question is very important. Please practice all the problems. Here you have greater than, sometimes you may expect less than n square also. Clear? And the next problem, prove by mathematical induction, 7 power n minus 3 power n is divisible by 4. It is very important, divisible by any number. So you can prove this by mathematical induction. 7 power n minus 3 power n is divisible by 4. So how to simplify this? So first step is base case or basis. So in base case, you have to prove that n is true. Clear? So how to prove this? So now let n is equal to 1. So now substitute the value of n, 7 power 1 minus 3 power 1. So 7 power 1 means 7 minus 3 power 1 is 3. So is divisible by what? It is divisible by 4. So now again it is divisible by 4. So 7 minus 3 means what? It is 4. So 4 is divisible by 4 is equal to 1. So n is equal to 1 is true. Clear? So 4 by 4 you will get 1. So n is true. And then the next step, n is equal to k. So you will get 7 power k minus 3 power k. So we have to prove that n is equal to k is true for 7 power k minus 3 power k is divisible by 4. Now I will assume 7 power k minus 3 power k. You can't simplify this again. So for that I will add is equal to 4p. Here I assume the value 7 power k minus 3 power k is equal to 4p. So now what is 7 power k? 7 power k is equal to 3 power k plus 4p. Cross multiply this minus changes to plus. So 7k is equal to 3 power k plus 4p. This we will use it later. So next step is 7k minus 3k is divisible by 4. So n is equal to k is true. And in the next step, we have to prove that n is equal to k plus k plus 1. So 7 power k plus 1 minus 3 power k plus 1. So now again you can split the exponential here. 7 power k into 7. You can write this minus 3 power k into 3. So now I will substitute the value. 7k means 7 power k means I can write 3 power k plus 4p. In place of 7 power k I will write 3 power k plus 4p into 7 minus 3 power k into 3. So now multiply these two terms 7 into 3 power k plus 7 into 4 into p minus 3 power k into 3. So now you can simplify this. You have 3 power k and here also you have 3 power k. So 7 into 3 power k minus 3 power k into 3 means you can write it is 4 into 3 power k. 7 minus 3 is what? 7 minus 3 is 4. So 4 into 3 power k plus 7 into 4 p. So I will take 4 as a common factor, 3 power k plus 7 into p. So 4 is a common factor. So this term 4 into 3 power k plus 7 into p, I will consider as it is 4m. Consider 4 into 3 power k plus 7p is equal to 4m. So it is divisible by 4 which is actually equal to some other value. So 4 is actually equal to some other value. Therefore 7 power k plus 1 minus 3 power k plus 1 
is divisible by 4 is divisible by 4 so n is equal to k plus 1 is true so this is the solution to this problem here you have the statement called 7 power n minus 3 power n so first step is you have to use the basic step that is basic step or basic case you have to prove that n is true so n is equal to 1 let n is equal to 1 7 power 1 minus 3 power 1 is divisible by 4 so 7 minus 3 is 4 so 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 which is true and in the next step that is inductive step you have to prove that n is equal to k is true and here substitute the value of n in place of n have written k so 7 power k minus 3 power k which is divisible by 4 so assume that 7 power k minus 3 power k is equal to 4p you have to assume any other variable so in next step you have to find 7 power k value is equal to 3 power k plus 4p just cross multiply this so n is equal to k is true and in the next step so n is equal to k plus 1 we have to prove that n is equal to k plus 1 so here n means it is k plus 1 7 power k plus 1 3 power k plus 1 and just split this exponential value 7 power k into 7 3 power k into 3 it is divisible by 4 and 3 power k plus 4p so in place of 7 power k I have written this value 7 power k is equal to 3 power k plus 4p into 7 minus 3 power k into 3 so 7 into 3 power k you just multiply these two terms 7 into 3 power k plus 7 into 4 into p minus 3 power k into 3 you just multiply this two term so now simplify this 7 into 3 power k minus 3 power k into 3 means i can write it is 4 into 3 power k plus 7 into 4 into p so again take common factor 4 is a common factor 4 into 3 power k plus 7 into p so now again you have to simplify this so this term I will consider as 4m so you can give any other variable so 4 into 3 power k plus 7p is equal to 4m it is divisible by 4 therefore 7 power k plus 1 minus 3 power k plus 1 is divisible by 4 so which is true clear this type of question you can expect in your examination so please practice all the problems in mathematical induction so definitely there will be a problem on mathematical induction in my next session I will discuss the next concept called recursion in mathematical induction. Thank you.